beautiful. Thank you. Please be seated. We are gathered here this evening to celebrate the marriage of Michael Correa and Erica Juarez. And on behalf of Michael and Erica and the families, thank you for being here to participate in this very special occasion in their lives. Michael and Erica, on behalf of your family and friends, we give you our blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support for your decision to become husband and wife. And who gives this woman to be married today? Nosotros. Gracias. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is blind, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still. For there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when, we, when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Michael and Erica, I'm sure that you know that marriage is far more than exchange of vows. This relationship requires a lifelong commitment of yourselves, as well as a lifelong commitment to each other. Your presence here in the eyes of God and your family and friends confirm you've made this commitment to yourselves and to each other. Now your happiness in this relationship is not something that's just gonna happen. It's not like the storybook where you get married live happily ever after. A good marriage must be created. And with that in mind, I'd like to give you a few things to think about now and in the future. First, it's never being too old to hold hands. It's always remembering to say, I love you every day, but especially in the most of trying of times. It's never going to sleep angry, never taking the other for granted, but it's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It's standing together, facing the world. Now, it's also not looking for perfection in your mate and requires that you cultivate flexibility, patience, understanding, and sometimes a really good sense of humor. You have to be able to laugh at yourselves, at each other, with each other. I think most importantly, your relationship requires that you give each other an atmosphere so that you may reach your fullest potential as an individual, but as a result, you grow together more closely as a couple and as a family. Now, Michael, if you will look in Erica's eyes and repeat after me, I'm Michael. I, Michael. Take you, Erica. Take you, Erica. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I promise to love. I promise to love. Honor. Honor. And comfort you. And comfort you. And keep you in health and in sickness. And keep you in health and in sickness. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Keeping myself faithful. Keeping myself faithful. To you. To you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And Erica, likewise, if you will look at Michael and repeat after me. I, Erica. I, Erica. Take you, Michael. Take you, Michael. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. 
I promise to love. I promise to love. Honor and comfort you. Honor and comfort you. And keep you in health and in sickness. And keep you in health and in sickness. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Keeping myself faithful to you. Keeping myself faithful to you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Now the rings that you're about to give to each other are an outward and visible symbol to the world, but a reminder to each of you every day of your commitment, your trust, your respect, your friendship, your partnership, but most importantly, to signify the love you two have for each other. Now each of these words that I mentioned are ingredients in any successful marriage. So I ask you to practice these and bear these daily. Michael, with these in mind, if you'll place the ring on Erica's left ring finger. Okay, I want you to hold that ring in place. Look in her eyes and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. I give you my solemn pledge. I give you my solemn pledge. Of everlasting devotion. Of everlasting devotion. And love. And love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Erica, likewise, if you'll place the ring on Michael's left ring finger. Likewise, hold it in place, look in his eyes, and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. I give you my solemn pledge. I give you my solemn pledge. Of everlasting devotion. Of everlasting devotion. And love. And love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, Michael and Erica, you will step over here to the unity candle. The two lighted candles symbolize your separate lives, your separate families, your separate set of friends. I ask you to each take one candle and together light the center candle. The individual candles represent your individual lives before today. Lighting the center candle represents that your two lives are now joined to one light and represents joined together of your two families now shine as one family. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. May God be with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortune, rich in blessings. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. Michael and Erica made these rings, these vows, and this ceremony serve as a constant reminder of the relationship that should be sustained one to another. And in so much you've exchanged holy wedlock vows, witnessed it before God in this company, and have pledged your faith and love to each other. It is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. And whosoever God has joined, let no man put asunder. You may kiss your bride, you may kiss your group, and hold it for the picture. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Michael Correa.
Love you both and wish you a long and happy marriage. Here's to you, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Correa. Cheers. Hello, everyone. 
everyone, my name is Matthew Morin, and I'm the uh, best man. Um, uh, I tried to pay $20 to get out of here, but I, <laughs> I guess it didn't work. But anyway, uh, I just want to congratulate the two. Uh, everything's wonderful and beautiful. Uh, about two or three years ago, I met Michael on a job, you know, with Howell Burton, and since then, our friendship's been great. Uh, we, you know, work out together and hang out. Barbecues are wonderful. Um, it was just like yesterday, y'all were on vacation and proposing over here on the beach and you know, posting everything on Facebook. <laughs> but uh, congratulations and blessings from the board. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you.
been a long day, baby. Things ain't been going my way, you know I need you here. You clear my mind all the time, and baby, the way you move me, it's crazy. Like you see right through me and make it easier. You please me, you don't even have to try. Oh, because you are the best thing. You are the best thing. You are the best thing. That you believe me when I say this love will never fade away. Oh, because you are the best thing. You are the best thing. You are the best thing. Ever. Promising like the spring to walk on out the door. Our hearts are strong and our, our hearts are kind. 